This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Welcome to Talk to Harry. I'm sorry we had to replay last week's show. It seems time and events have taken over. Today we're going to do another part of the first two series that we have done. We're talking about disillusionment and we're talking about consequence. Now we're going towards part three with the same guest, Mr. Pastor Boy Saikon, who it seems has been figuring in the news in all the big TV networks. Now what exactly is going on? You've got the multiple um, investigative committees beat in the Senate, Congress, which was held back. You've got about eight or nine different committees all trying to go for the truth. It seems public opinion has it that we already know the truth. Now, whether I have to say it out and blurt it out to you, I think it seems obvious simply because the leadership in Malacanang is waning and no amount of surveys at this point will prop him up. No amount of spin can turn this around. But if that is indeed the truth, is that truth to our, is it pragmatic? Is it to our advantage? These are the issues that need to be discussed. Now people are lining up, walking, and uh, what forming human chains in EDSA. We are seeing what we used to see, ironically, right here during the anniversary of the 29th anniversary of People Power. What has it brought us? Well, as of late, the 44 fallen that we're still discussing, we're still discussing. You know, there's a saying, you don't leave the dead, especially in the military. You just don't leave them behind. In this very issue, it seems we did. So questions there is why, how, and who gave this order. We have with us, we've got Pastor Boy Saikon who's uh, chair of the COPA. Hi, uh, Mr. Saikon. Salamat na rito ka ulit. Madiscuss natin. Uh, maraming salamat, Harry. At uh, sa pagkakataong makapagpaliwanag, so we can explain to the public, really, no, uh, to the best ability that we have and information we have. That is uh, the status, really, of the investigation. Uh, it's still one thing in the terms of including, no, if you will look at all the interviews done, Specifically to the widows of mm -hmm. the fallen 44, uh, no, no less than the presidents are talking to them, uh, produced, I believe, no, uh, the answers, no, that will at least give them the justice that they want for. Well, it seems the smart alecky remarks of the president to the widow, especially that's been in the newspapers today, uh, has not gained him any points. But going straight, you know, I mean. Let's go straight to the issue. Uh, Pinag-uusapan natin dito, makikita talaga sa timeline eh. Correct. Uh -huh. Yun ang nangyari. Alam mo ng presidente, alas 5 pa lang umaga, inamin niya. Na alam niya na nakuha ng takip na si Marwan. Regardless of how, why, yes. where, what information, who fed, how many went in, you know, never mind the other details. The point is he knew. And for the next eight hours, there was no real order, or if the order was, let them be and let them die. Now, there is, as of this morning, the Senate again, back on its feet, right on media, and everyone's listening and watching, only to frustrate everybody. It seems, hindi matanong-tanong, nalaman ba ng presidente at anong, anong binigay niya, anong sinabi niya, at ano dapat sundan nila? This is now the problem, the communication timeline. Now, 
there is that issue with Senator Legarda that asks for the actual uh, information, data, timeline, files of, on the cellular. Why is it that they are not acting on it to get actual facts, not just reports from resource people, and we're not going to take the word of the generals and the Peñas, Purisima et al., but to find out the timeline and exactly what was written. Ano ba nangyayari dyan? Ba't gano'n na nangyayari? Uh... No, no, in, in the process kasi, no, of uh, now everyone submitting their own timeline, no, more than uh, uh, eight persons. Uh, no, eh, hindi na magkatugma-tugma eh, no, including uh, the uh, issues of uh, uh, who the president was talking to. Because in the hearing today, it just appears that they are just texting with Purisima. And uh, also texting uh, na Peñas. So just between the three of them. Then Purisima says that he was in San Leonardo. Then the president is in Malacanang. But the battlefield is Mama Sapano. <laughs> no? So by remote control, uh, this is where, as we said, no? uh, danger lurks. Because the ability to give orders, no? Eh, ang lagi sinasabi nila eh, time on target, no? Uh, ito bang time on target was not part and parcel of the plan that if there is an encounter, how is the quick response or the rapid if, the response to the problem? If there is even one. Yeah, okay. Ngayon, bakit sila natatakot ilabas yung listahan no, ng Smart, Globe, all of these mm -hmm. companies? So is that what? The phone calls... No, are recorded. Hindi naman pwede itago yun. And the text, yeah, recorded. data recorded and kept. So that, now, yung kanilang ginawang mga statement doon sa tinatawag na Board of Inquiry sa BOI, makita natin kung tama doon sa talagang tinex nila. Okay? Because that is how the law works. No? So you're uh, saying there is an integrity issue because the, the information being given is in conflict. Kasi ang nangyayari ngayon dito, as time passes, nakita mo yung massaging process o para ah. pagpare-parehohin dito sa istorya nila. Uh, no? So PR, it's a PR uh, so, spin. So, kumisa na ayos na nila, may darating ng isang statement na mali, mag adjust na naman lahat sila. Ah, uh, so, now, but in the records no, of uh, these two telcos and the, or three telcos, you cannot jumble it up because that is specific. Time. Do you think it's available already? How it is. Nila, pero ano, hawak na kaya nila, ayaw ilabas. Ayaw pa atang isumpina as far as I am concerned. Ayaw ipasumpina. No? So you don't think they have it yet? Uh, kasi that was asked no, uh, on record and recorded by the committee uh, on the first hearing. Hiningi ni Sir Caligarda. And, uh, no action scene. And then it was seconded, followed up again. But uh, you see, the people will truly believe the truth. If these are records made public. Let's talk about this illusion. If it is true, if our perception, if my perception is correct, Noy Noy is at fault. The president is at fault. There is the silence and there is immobility, there is just no movement for eight hours. Correct. Because the leader decided no movement. Mm. Whether it was with intent or it's strategic, we don't know. That's the part we have to identify. But assuming either or, if he didn't want to give the order because of the BBL, he's at fault. And if he couldn't give an order because he got scared, he's at fault as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is the dissolution. Let's go to the consequence of his action. But how can you weigh naman the BBL with the lives of 44? Exactly that you, my point. That you, that you sent, you gave them a mission specifically. So when that mission was given, the poor soldier knows he has the backing of the state. Okay, because... What he carries is the loss of the land. Oh, tama yun. Oh, and then all of a sudden, sabi mo, abandon mo sila doon. In iniwan talaga. Oh, and then, uh, then sabi mo, just for the sake of a peace process that is still ongoing and not in place. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so you have to balance we'll it, the consequence known. Uh, but oh. going to this disillusion, oh. and knowing the president willfully did this, he is going to look like an enemy of the state. Now, this morning I heard Maroha saying he was surprised to learn only a couple of days later that there was 390 other staff that was waiting there. It seems him being in the dark together with Purisima, uh, with the, not Purisima, but together with uh, Kapan, Kap, uh, General Katapang, Katapang yes. and uh, Espina, General Espina. Pinalabas nila talaga hindi nila alam. Ako natatawa ako eh. They were even questioning the role now of the Chief of Staff for... Uh, Pangilinan. Yes, no, it's not Pangilinan. Uh, the other guy, si Gasmin, Gasmin si yes. Voltaire. What is his role? when he's supposed to be in the loop and know what's going on. He's supposed to coordinate the AFP, diba? And chief of staff she. So it does not make sense. Whichever way the president goes, talo siya, he's guilty. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Whichever way. We've we'll no, discovered no, no, no. that. Kaya lang, bakit kaya lahat nitong mga committee sa Congreso, both houses, uh, all the other committees that are being formed, a known purpose to hide, to spin the president? I mean, who will DOJ report their findings to? Di ba, Presidente? Who will the ombudsman report to? Who will the generals report to? In the, exactly. So how can you go and tell the president, Boss, kayo nagkamali dito, hindi kayo nagbigay ng order. O sinabi niyo sa amin, huwag na tulungan eh. Parang ganun lumalabas, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct, correct. Oh, you're so, correct. Now, if the Senate identifies what is going on through this timeline and the facts come out as facts, not hearsay, Good. not as presented by the resource people, lalabas talaga, ang presidente lalabas dyan. Parang ganun lalabas. Yun ang tinatago nila. Bakit kaya tinatago pa rin ang Malacanang? Amo, uh, this is where uh, I am quite surprised. No? Because a mark of a true leader, Harry, is one that is willing to face his mistakes, ask for apology and be sorry for it. And this will end the miseries no? and excruciating, especially the feelings of the families of those that were left behind. But the seeming insincerity of the president is what is aggravating. He makes snide remarks both to the PNP, the SAF, even to the widows and to those who lost these shoulders, these uh, fallen 44. The, the side remarks are uncalled for and it's irritating. In fact, it added to the anger of the streets that I could sense today. Yes, uh, so. Uh, Gusto mo bang pa-fingerprint ko pa yung mga ano, ganon? Ano, 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 pa-fingerprint uh, natin lahat ng mga uh, MIRF. Nanonood, nanonood ka ba ng computer? <laughs> okay, or... Uh, uh, no, so, so, all of these things, no, um, does not talk too much no, of uh, how leaders should act. But uh, the, the greater problem now here is this. No? The more you hide the truth, the more they do not accept this, the more it will smell, and when it smells bad, it explodes. It goes back. We're going to have to take a short break. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back in this second episode, we're now going to go to what we call the consequence. As you have read, as you have seen on TV, people are beginning to congregate in the streets. Now, you will say, just like Malacanang and many of those who go in front of the TV that try to save the president and this administration, Ah, hindi. Okay, magalala. Hindi pwede magsama-sama mga yan. Mahina yan. Wala silang leader. Wala silang ganito. Wala silang ganyan. They are discrediting everything. Obviously, it's in panic mode. Malacanang is in panic mode. And whether it's really happening or not, find out. When we come back, we will go through exactly what is happening in the streets. Mr. Saikon is right here with us and will ask these very difficult questions. We'll be right back.